Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, pianist, composer, piano and composition teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of the channel. I'm leaving the link below in the description, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel in case you are interested in original music and covers. Going back to the Piano Lessons to Go channel, don't forget to subscribe and to share also with your friends if there is anybody that is interested in piano music. Let me know also about yourself when you started studying your experience. Now time to go to our lesson. Today is time for the 22nd music theory lesson and in this lesson I will explain the minor key signatures, their relation with the major key signatures, so I could even say I will explain the relative minor keys or relative minor scales. It's very important for me to remind you to watch the previous, at least the previous three tutorials, if you haven't. Uh, I'm talking about the one where I explained the birth of the, of the major scale, the one where I explained the circle of fifths, and the last one, the 21st, where I explained the key signatures in general, uh, the ones having sharps, flats, and today, indeed, it's time to discover now the minor key signatures, the relative minor. I will simply write the topic, but I will be using, same as I did in the previous video, I will be using the theory book, the AB Guide to the Music Theory, and the back of my manuscript, that is quite interesting because it has pretty much, at least the very basic and uh, most important things. So, I will simply write, to make it simple, relative minor, we should say keys or scales. What I really like to always say to uh, all my students as soon as they start discovering the problem of the key signatures and of the scales, I like to say that every single major scale, every single key signature, has its dark side. We could say that the minor scales or the minor key is the dark side of the bright and sunny major key or major scale, same as the day as uh, the day and night, the day itself as a whole as the day when it's sunny and the night. Same story in music we have major and minor, major scales and minor scales, major key and minor key, because major key and major scale they are, we could say for you, the same thing, we could say yeah, at the moment. And same story, the minor key and the minor scale, the same thing. And there is one specific, one very simple thing that can help you understanding which one is the relation, how to find this minor key or minor scale. The minor scale starts always from the sixth note of the major scale. Let's start from the very simple, the very basic C major. So, C major, as you know, is made of C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. I'm still playing with uh, using one finger because the scale as a technical aspect of the piano practice will be explained in the following videos and I will be treating almost one by one in every single tutorial and I will talk about the fingering and how it is important to master the right fingering. So I was saying the C major is this. And the notes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now, if you notice that I was almost posing on the 6th, the 6th note is the start of the minor, the minor scale. Indeed, the relative minor key of C major is A minor. And I usually suggest to go one minor third down from the 
tonic from the first note of the major scale. Also this a typical name that sometimes I'm mentioning tonic dominant will be clarified because every single note of the scale has a specific technical name. So, from the first you do 7th, 6th and here you start playing, you, you get the first note, the main note of the minor key signature or the first note of the scale. And the minor scale, obviously the A minor would be the same as C major without any black key. Obviously I have played now applying the fingering. <laughs> Here we are, indeed. The main thing that you have to do is to discover the notes of the natural minor scale, because maybe some of you might know that the minor scale could be natural, harmonic, melodic. These names, these things will be definitely discussed, will be clarified. But what do I mean saying that you have to discover first of all the natural scale? The natural scale is the one having the same identical notes of the major scale. If C is only white, A minor will be only white. Starting from, obviously, it's like playing C major, starting from the sixth note of C major. And that's all. Now, we can double check on the book, on the theory book, and also on my manuscript. So, you see, as you maybe noticed in the previous video, where I said ignore, please, the um, mention of the minor key, C major or A minor. Same story here, where it is a bit more bold, the character. So C major or A minor, yeah? Nor sharp or flats. Blank. Empty. Then we discover that we have the one with the, that the scale with one sharp is G major. Now, by playing G major you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Or as I said, first, seventh, six is the same story. Either you go up, but it's a long journey, but that you go down, one minor third. It's always the start of the minor. And the minor, E minor, natural scale, it is exactly this one. Et voilà. Same identical notes of G major. Same identical ones, this is the natural scale. And we can do exactly the same thing with all of them. It's written clearly G major or E minor. Also in the theory book, if you have the theory book, the A B got to the music theory. G major or E minor. Now, let's carry on. From this one it is a little bit more clear. D major with two sharps or B minor. Why? If this is D major and we have F sharp and C sharp, so D major, D, then seventh, sixth, and the R. Here we are. This is B minor. And we can do the same with A major. A major with three sharps, the sharps are F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. You go one minor third down or you reach the sixth note, you do one, seven, six. So you have to remember to pass through the uh, G sharp because the G is sharp in this key signature, yeah? So one, seven, six and this is the uh, F sharp minor. Can do the same with the other ones. So E major as C sharp minor as a relative minor. Et voilà. And then we can see B major that has G sharp minor as a relative minor. You have to remember the number of sharps. From B you go down. Et voilà. I am playing the minor natural. Then F sharp major as D sharp minor as a relative minor. You have to remember that we have six sharps. This is F sharp major. Then you do one, seven, six, and you do. This is D sharp minor. The very last one with the sharps is so the relative minor of C sharp major, that is A sharp minor. Quite complicated these scales, even to think about them. So if this is C sharp, seventh, seventh has to be considered the B sharp, yeah, you have to remember. And then A sharp. I keep repeating that I suggested to watch my previous music theory lessons where you will understand everything, yeah? Obviously now I'm going a little bit faster because I assume that you have watched 
and obviously I invite you to do if you haven't. So this is the A sharp minor uh, scale that is, I should say, almost never used, but anyways, it's important to check. And we can do the same with the scales having flats. So, we restart, we should restart from the C, if you um, know what I'm talking about, because on the circle of fifth, this is the, um, the let's say, the zero or the number twelve, now we went to the right side of the circle of fifth. We can do the same now going towards the left, so backwards. So we went first of all clockwise, now we can go anti-clockwise. And indeed the first one that we get is F major, and the relative minor of F major is D minor, in one flat. If this is F major... Seven, six, and this is D minor natural. B flat major with two flats, the relative minor will be G minor. Et voilà! So this is B flat major. Seven, six, and this is G minor natural. Then we have E flat major with three flats, and the relative minor is C minor. This is E flat major. Seven, six, C minor scale, C minor natural. Then we have A flat major, and the relative minor will be F minor. This is A flat. Seven, six, F minor natural. Then we have D flat major with the five flats, and the relative minor is B flat minor. This is D flat major. And this is the relative minor. 7, 6, B flat minor. Then we have G flat major with 6 flats, and then the relative minor is E flat minor. So G flat major. And the relative minor will be 7, 6, E flat minor. And the very last one will be C flat major with seven flats, and the relative minor will be A flat minor. The C flat major is same as B major. You should know now. And the relative minor is seven, six, A flat minor. So remember that this is a simple introduction to the concept of minor scales, or minor keys, letting you simply understand, start understanding what does it mean that every single major has its own minor and how to find the start of the minor scale or the main note of the minor key always remember the sixth degree of the major is the start of the minor scale or of the minor key either you go up six notes first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, or you go down one minor third doing first, seventh, sixth. And that's all for today. Remember also that I will, I keep repeating that today I will explain so quickly everything, because this is a simple introduction. I will be explaining everything in practice, and I will dive into the understanding of the importance of the correct fingering, or which ones are the fingers that you have to use, which ones are the patterns that you need for the scales, and I will try also to explain the scales according to a very simple principle, practical principle, where I will group the scales according to their fingering. Okay? So anyways, if you have any question, feel free to comment. If it's the first time you're landing on my channel, thanks to this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.